could thermal add to your wildlife and bird watching experience? I'm David Thomas Jacks. Let me show you with the help from some pulsar devices. So you'd normally use a thermal unit like this handheld. Grab it out of your pocket, you can operate it with either hand and turn it on in an instant and you can scan a wide area to see if there's anything worth looking at. You can look right into the foliage, into the shadows, through the camouflage and I can see there's nothing there so maybe it's time to move on. At night time, thermals are great for seeing nocturnal animals and birds. They can cut through that darkness to reveal exactly what's there because rather than look for a visible image, it's looking for a heat source. And these will be able to detect an animal or a bird up to some quite considerable distances. The more pixel you get and the higher up the range you get, the more capability you've got to see a distance. But thermal's good for daytime too it will be able to cut into the shadows, it will see through a camouflage that an animal or a bird might have, and it will reveal the animal by its heat source. So that will tell you exactly where you need to point your camera or your binoculars. So our setting today is this riverbank, and as well as that pigeon, we're hoping that we might see a kingfisher or two. So these are the three units we've got today. We've got the entry-level Pulsar Axion X M30F, We've got the mid-range Axion XG35 and we've got the top spec Pulsar Telos XP50. Now this one and this one have got a laser rangefinder built into them but they're available without the laser rangefinder if you don't need the distance measuring capability that these have got and that makes those units a lot more compact. But if compact is important they don't come any smaller than the Axion XM30F. The difference in the specs you get is principally down to the sensor and the number of pixels you get in the sensor. More pixels means a clearer image, greater detection range, more detailed information that you see through the IP so you've got a better means of identifying your subject as well. And because you're operating at a distance with a capability to zoom in with all of these, you're not disturbing the animal's habitat. So we can definitely see a kingfisher but it's hidden in the tree, so we're not able to see it with a camera. You can clearly pick out on all three of these units. With more detail on the XP50 Telos. Really good level of detail on the XG35. The XM30F is a little more grainy, but then that's down to the size of the sensor. However, you can still clearly identify it where, whereas on the camera, it's completely obscured. We wouldn't even know it's there, so we don't. We wouldn't know whether this was a good spot to come back to. Thanks to these three thermals, we know exactly we're in the right location. That's brilliant. So that's what these thermals can do during the day. If you'd like to find out more about the Pulsar Telos XP50, the Axion XG35 or the Axion XM30F, then visit tj-focus.co.uk. Or for more videos like this, subscribe. I'm David Thomas-Jacks. Thanks for watching.